does the cold weather really cause the common cold? Have you ever wondered why more people get sick during the winter months? Is it because of the cold weather or are there any other reasons behind this pattern? Before we dive into this, let's first take a look at the immune system and how it defends the body from illness. The immune system is a complex network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together as an internal defense mechanism to protect the body from foreign invaders, including bacteria, viruses, parasites, toxins, and cancer cells. If left alone, these foreign invaders have the potential to cause an infection within the body, eventually leading to an illness. So the immune system works by recognizing, neutralizing, and removing these foreign invaders before they cause a serious illness. With such a complex system within our body, how are there over 1 billion cases of the common cold in the United States alone? The main culprit reasonable for more than 50% of all the cold-like illnesses is human rhinovirus. It first enters the airway and interferes with the membrane of epithelial cells causing the initial infection. This infection then reduces the resistance of epithelial cells, allowing cytokines, growth factors, immune cells, and viral particles to penetrate the deeper layers within the airways, leading to a secondary infection. This dysregulation causes an increased secretion of various molecules, including growth factors, which leads to an increased expression of receptors. This increased receptor expression leads to the most common symptom of the common cold, the dreaded cough. The human rhinovirus can also cause a sore throat, ear infection, and sinus infection. Now that we know how the human rhinovirus leads to the symptoms we experience when we have a cold, Let's look at how we catch the cold. Experiencing or recovering from a secondary infection such as strep throat, pneumonia, and bronchitis, when someone coughs, sneezes, or blows their nose near you, touching your nose, eye, or mouth after touching something that is contaminated by a virus, and finally, the colder weather. If the human rhinovirus is the main culprit behind the common cold in the cold weather, only makes you vulnerable to catching the cold, how did this misconception arise? The question of whether cold weather causes the common cold has been debated since the 19th century. It was the first thought that cold weather alone was sufficient to cause the common cold. In the 20th century, the thought was modified to be that cold weather causes people to crowd in smaller space then increase the transmission of common cold. This theory had several limitations. It explained how individuals who work in office all year round are still less likely to become sick in the winter. Yet for many years, this was still the prevailing hypothesis because these, there were no other alternatives. Now, the more logical explanation is that exposure to the cold weather decreases the temperature of the nasal cavity and causes a reduction in the effectiveness of local defenses within the nose. As a result, airborne viruses like the human rhinovirus, can easily pass through the host defenses and infect an individual. So the cold weather can make you more susceptible to the common cold, but does not directly cause the cold itself. Thank you for your time, and for more videos like this, visit our Demystifying Seminars webpage or YouTube page.